What is meant by intelligent networks, and how will they transform cyber defense? So uh, intelligent networks refer to the fact that the network infrastructure is undergoing a dramatic transformation. The networks that we've built for a couple of decades now were ones that were basically set up in a static um, methodology. You would provision them and then you'd monitor them. The entire network infrastructure is moving to one where you're now going to orchestrate and control that basic infrastructure. And you do that by creating application programming interfaces at all the different layers of the network. And you're going to actually instruct or program the network to do whatever your application, whatever your mission, whatever service that you need to perform, you'll actually instruct the network directly to set up the kind of circuits and provide the kind of services that you need. Where does software-defined networking come into play in terms of improving security? So software-defined networking refers to the ability to control the actual networking equipment, separating the control plane from the forwarding plane, for example. You're going to have more control over a software-defined network than you've had in the past. In the past, the way networks operated is there were a lot of protocols that ran horizontally. With an SDN network or software-defined network, you're actually going to instruct the network how you want the information to flow in the network, and you're going to have complete control how that network topology is set up. Tell us about the networks of the future. What will they look like, and how will they be managed, and how will they be secured? So the, the future networks are going to have combinations of software-defined networking as well as network function virtualization. NFV is a key piece to this. The ability to take a physical network appliance or a device and turn it into some code that can run on top of general purpose compute makes it much easier to secure the network because you can update things in real time, you can distribute the kinds of network functions that you need to perform your mission, and you have, again, control over that architecture that you really haven't had in previous network architectures.